not sharing this is is not sharing a big part of this journey that we're going on, you know? Hey guys, so today is kind of a very sad day. This morning, sorry, I'm trying not to cry. I'm at my mom's place right now because last night she texted me saying that our dog tofu wasn't doing so well um she's older she's 14 and she just has a lot of health problems um but she was vomiting and not eating so they took her to the vet and my mom texted me letting me know that you know we yeah anyways you guys get it so came over last night got to spend some time with her and my mom and Randall and then then this morning she passed away um so bah. this is my first time ever dealing with this type of loss on my channel so um I'm not really sure how much I'm gonna talk about it or how much I'm gonna show I don't know I just feel like sometimes the internet just opens the door to a lot of people and their opinions of just like how to deal with grief, right? Um, so anyways, I am with my parents right now. We are about to take Toph to the vets to drop her off to be cremated. Um, and then I'm just going to spend the day with my parents just... I think we're just gonna get lunch and just hang out for a bit. It is a Wednesday, so I am supposed to have a video up tonight, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't even have it ready to go. To be honest, I kind of left it to the last minute. Like I had a, I have a draft of it done. I just need to put the final touches on it, but I don't know, it just feels weird to like actively promote this video that I'm really excited to share with you guys. But I just feel, <laughs> I just feel like I just can't be fake with you guys, you know? Like, I can't fake promote something when my heart's not really in it, you know? And I don't know. I feel like I my time right now is better spent just being with my family and just, you know, spending time with them, making sure, you know, they're okay. But I also just have this guilt that I'm just letting people down. Um... Yeah, I also know that you guys are my ride or dies, and I don't know, I just feel like I can trust you to just understand, you know. I wasn't so sure if I was going to share this on the vlog or even vlog today, but I don't know. I just, at this point, after vlogging and being online for almost a year now, I just feel like you guys are my like extended family and the reason why I picked up this camera in the first place was to just bring you along this journey with me. Um, I've said that from the beginning but I just want us to collectively experience this together and uh, you know I feel like not sharing this is is not sharing a big part of this journey that we're going on you know. Like, grief is a part of the journey, and um, I apologize for the snotty nose and for um, crying on camera again. But, yeah, I am just wanted to say that I'm really grateful to have this space and to have you guys in my corner because I feel like if I didn't have your support... I wouldn't feel so comfortable sharing this, but everyone who is subscribed in, in my community, like I know that you guys have my backs and are, are here for the ups and the downs and everything, so I just want to say I'm really thankful for that. Okay, anyways, this was a long-winded way for me to say I'm just really grateful that you guys are here. So yeah, we're going to drop off TOF, um, take care of that. And afterwards we're gonna go eat 
brunch, lunch, I don't even know what time it is right now. Yeah, so after lunch, we are going to go to the mall for a little bit, walk around. We're just going to just spend time together, see kind of where the day, you know, how the day unfolds. But I still need to get some stuff for Coachella. Randall, my second dad, wants to go to Jin's because he has to look at glasses. So it's going to be an errand shopping whatever makes us feel better type of day so uh, i'm gonna take you guys along with us and let's get this day going So we got the prosciutto sandwich, an apricot tart, and then a mini croissant, smaller than my hand. <laughs> And then now we have cappuccinos and then coffee? Regular coffee, Randall? Yeah. What'd you get? Regular coffee? Decaf, cappuccino. Nope, this one's decaf. Nope. This one's, see it says, oh, it says decaf. decaf. From mama? Me. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Randall. Cheers. In honor of Toph. In honor of Toph. <laughs> Cheers. these snacks are they French snacks oh, oh, yeah. I don't think so. Wow looks good by the mall and I'm trying a new foundation from Shiseido and I liked it because it diffuses fine lines so when I go to Coachella and it's all sunny I don't have to worry about my foundation caking up so yeah let you guys know how I like it after a day of shopping <laughs> now we got happy hour yeah, right there, <laughs> hi mom happy hour, <laughs> happy hour. <laughs> Cheers for Toe. Cheers. <laughs> Take pictures already? Yep. Oh, nope. <laughs> Extra gravy. <laughs> this is a little guy. Browsing and killing time. Trying on all of these because <laughs> they're super cute. Here we are again. <laughs> 
So it is day, how long have I been here? <laughs> Tuesday night? Day three. Day three, so it's day three uh, at my parents' house. I got here Tuesday night, and that was my last night with Toph. Then Wednesday, and then yesterday, I've been here. Um, we've just been trying to, I think, just get out of the house. I think all three of us, especially me and Randall, <laughs> sorry mom, have been just like wanting to just get out, I think the hardest thing is just coming back home and realizing that she's not there. I feel like words have been hard for me really lately. Ugh, I feel, exactly. I feel like words have been really hard for me lately. I just like can't formulate, formulate proper sentences. So I think the past few days, you've just seen a little bunch of clips and I haven't really checked in. So this is me checking in. And yes, I'm wearing glasses because I wasn't expecting to be here that, this long so i ran out of contacts and i don't have contact solution here so uh, yeah today is friday and randall is at work and then my mom and i right now are gonna go get some lunch she really likes earth cafe and i'm obsessed with the matcha espresso latte that they have there i think it's called like the sun the rising sun matcha latte it's my favorite so we're just gonna go there get some brunch today i for sure need to head back because i just need to be at my apartment i feel like i just want to clean up my space a little bit it's crazy that coachella is in a week from now i just feel very unprepared um i also just haven't been like working on things for my blog or my instagram my youtube anything for the past two days so i just feel very i have this guilt of just not being productive even though i know it's being productive for me to just feel better if that makes sense all right i'm gonna head out i am hungry so Mom? are we ready we're ready to go let's go forgot my uh, hawaiian tropics so i'm using my mom's shiseido sunscreen it's a stick so all you do is you just roll this up and then you apply it on your arms you just go like this <laughs> so my mom said that the reason for this is so that you don't get your hands sticky which makes sense <laughs> that is still funny it's like i'm putting deodorant on my arms <laughs> Wow, this is a terrible angle. Hey guys, so right now I'm on my way to pick up my dad. He is going out of town and needs to pick up a rental car. So I'm gonna go grab him right now to just get some lunch and then take him to get his car. All right, so grab my dad. You look very casual. What? Shorts. It's a Sunday. <laughs> My dad is giving me crap for my <laughs> outfit, which is just denim shorts and a sweatshirt. <laughs> I didn't think it was that casual. It's weird because like the past couple of days have been like 97 degrees, but today is 67. So I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize I was so frumpy. Summery but... <laughs> looking. <laughs> All right. I'm hungry. So let's, let's go. Eat. My kale, <laughs> my kale aid, <laughs> and then got a beer on brand for both of us. <laughs> oh, this place looks so nice. 
<laughs> Are you trying to cheers? cheers. <laughs> Here, I'll cheers with my kale. <laughs> so what is this, mushroom and ricotta? Uh, I don't remember what we ordered, but it looks so good. Yeah. All right. So good. Um, okay. <laughs> hey guys, so I feel like it's been a while. Hey guys, so I feel like it's been a while since I have just sat down and chatted with you guys, but I felt like this morning was an appropriate time to do so because of just what's happened recently in my life and I don't know, I just want to take a moment to just say thank you guys for sticking around even when I needed a break. Yeah, the past two days, or God, what? I don't even know what it is. So basically, the past week has been just a whirlwind. Um, I stayed at my parents' house Wednesday, Thursday, and then I stayed an extra night because I didn't want to come home. And then I spent the morning with my mom. We went to Earth Cafe just because we both love those lattes there. So we went there, got our lattes, and then I went, I came back here to my apartment. Um, Sorry, it's very distracting when I'm looking at this and my hair is just wild and this framing is off. So anyways, came back here and then I swear I've just been locked to my couch from like Friday afternoon to Sunday morning. I don't know, I just feel like for me, my advice whenever there's stuff going on is to just escape into doing something that's mindless, like things that don't take up my brain. When I was at my parents' house after Tofu died, I feel like the reason why we were so active is just because we didn't want to have to go back home to a place that she wasn't anymore. If that makes sense. I, I don't even know if I'm using words correctly anymore, but, or right now. Uh, I feel like the hardest thing about losing anyone is just going back to your routine and then them not being a part of it. I think a big part of how we were trying to process in those first few days was just to breathe. And I feel like if we had stayed at home, we would have just been stuck in our thoughts. And I think we just, the three of us collectively, just knew that we needed to get out and about and just not necessarily avoid feeling the feelings, but just, I think just to get through those first two days, that's just what we needed. And then when I came home on Friday, what was needed was really just to not. People who know me, and if you guys have been around, you know me as well. I'm very much a perfectionist type person. I love setting, I love setting goals, and I do the most. And even skipping, honestly skipping an upload on Wednesday, I was thinking like, oh, okay, since I missed my upload on Wednesday, I'll just upload two on Sunday because that's where my mind goes. It's just like, oh, how can I like make up for missing this? But I don't know, I just couldn't do it. Like I just... It's different when you're a brand and the brand isn't yourself, you know? And I just felt like for me to show up and just put on this like fake smile and like happily promote this video that I'm super proud of, you know? I just think it was just doing a disservice to you guys to not, to just like put on this front that just wasn't a thing. And it was also just doing a disservice to all this work that I put in on this video that I'm super proud of to not give it the promotion and the justice that is real and authentic like and then it's also just a disservice to me of not giving myself that time to just process everything that's happened like honestly didn't even think that this was going to be that hard to film because it's been like how many days but yeah i don't know all of this to say i'm sorry 
if this was really long-winded and kind of all over the place but yeah i just wanted to hop on here and just say thank you guys so much honestly when i think of my community around me i'm not only thinking about my friends and my parents and all of that stuff but i really am thinking about you guys too and i put you guys in that category because i know the real ones who have been around and who have been watching and who have been supporting um i'm just really grateful for you guys and for just coming along this journey with me and for allowing me this space to share with you guys everything just know i am so incredibly grateful for you but yeah i just want to say that so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next vlog which i think is coachella so bye